Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more GTA 5 gun running DLC. This is my 8 million dollar spending spree as you can tell I'm just under 8 million dollars and there's also currently only 6 people in the lobby which is awesome. So let's get back into this, let's access the computer. In this episode I wanted to see what would happen if I actually bought a resupply. I think it costs more money when you actually buy resupplies. Like, uh, not when you buy them, but like when you have less uh, supplies. So to, uh, if, say my supply level was a little bit higher, like say it was up here, it would be less money for the supplies. But either way, I want to steal supplies first and then I'll end up buying them. So let's do this. Okay, looks like those whack jobs, the altruists, might have the supplies you're after up in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Get up there and get them out. Sweet, and I'm still using the little Smurf blue whatever car, the Bifta. This car is amazing, definitely one of the most underrated like cars in the game. I love this car so much, it's really fast, it's really sleek looking, and it's just, it's a beach buggy, it's awesome. <laughs> Nobody hates a beach buggy. But how far is this place? Is this place going to be like insanely far like all the other places? It's not insanely far. I'm going to take the trip there. I'm actually going to take the trip there. Let's see. I'm not going to cut this out. Go to Rats Rayton Canyon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But either way, not too far. It's just past the uh, Zancudo Air Force military base. Dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 and guys, I'm telling you, every time I record GTA, it always, it's always nighttime. I don't know why, <laughs> it just is. I mean, I was in the bunker, I couldn't tell if it was night or day. But either way, uh, pretty close to this place already. Only how many miles does it not tell me? Yeah, a mile and a half. We are pretty close, it's probably just around this bend up ahead, I believe. <clears throat> we shall see. Oh, I think I know where we're going. I kind of have an idea. Woohoo. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not paying attention. I was looking at the map for a second. Totally not paying attention. Oh. Or do I know where we're going? I thought I did. It's to the right. Oh, there's also another player over here. Oh, boy. That's not a good sign. Yes, I think I do know where we're going. Let's do this. I don't know what the mission is, though. I don't know what we have to do. Obviously, steal supplies, but everyone's different. Like, the other mission... Ooh, that's weird, a log. But the other mission I did, I had to steal, like, the, uh, the rail gun, which was really, really cool. And, uh, hopefully this one's gonna be even better. I'm currently taking this dirt path. This mission was actually kind of nice and close. So after this one, I will be buying the resupply to see what it does. I think it's just like, you just buy it just to save time so you don't have to do these missions. But I kind of like these. They add a little bit of like, suspense. Oh, hello. This is creepy. Oh, wrong button. Lights off. Can I do this stealthy? Oh, I thought they were in the truck. Where are they? Oh, this is weird. Guns out. They're inside of there. Let's take them out. Oh, we got a flick. I had a flare gun. What? Oh, there's so many of them. Holy crap. Shooting a tree. That's what I do best. It's like I in a robe. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Some of them just have flare guns. Some have axes. There's so many of them. <laughs> that guy just fell. Whoa. There's two more. Come on. There's a guy that I'm shooting the tree, but he's behind there. How you do it? Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm just gonna steal the crap. I don't care. I'm just stealing it. Just stealing it. There's so many flares. Is it inside? Yes, it's an actual oh my fire, I'm a fire. It's an actual crate. So we oh I could have went behind them and stole it. Oh whatever, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Dun da 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 oh I'm running so slow. Come on, come on, come on. I guess the word wasn't uh the world wasn't ending. Just the 
Okay, that's point. Oh my god! <laughs> they hit my windshield. What the hell? Oh crap! I'm stuck. Come on, get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make it back to the bunker as fast as we can. And what I actually want to do next episode, uh, not in this one, but whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, there we go. Kind of drifting, but uh, what I want to do next episode is I actually want to st uh, start doing the missions. Skyrim supplies are now visible to all players. Oh, nice. Oh, and I have people coming after me. Oh, come on, make it over, make it over. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Almost dead. Come on, go, go, go. But next mission, like I said, I wanted to actually do the uh, the missions that they give you in the mobile operations center since I just bought that last episode because that's going to be so much fun. I think it's going to be really like unique, awesome missions where we actually get to use the uh, those new vehicles in the game, like the military vehicles, which will be really cool and interesting because I haven't used any of those vehicles yet. So I'm kind of really excited to be doing that and I want to keep making money because I'm spending so much money on this DLC. It's, I've already spent like four to like five million dollars that's a lot of money in gta i've never spent that much before but i thought it would be worth it because it's a lot of fun the dlc and also i wanted to show you guys what you can get with the dlc for some people who don't buy the dlc or not even buy but have enough money to get the dlc Dun, 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 dun. or i guess it's considered an update i guess i don't know i consider it dlc because you have like it's downloadable like you have to download it in a way to play gta kind of it's, it's an update to gta but i consider it gta uh i consider it like a dlc because like it's just there's so much money in the game you have to spend to play it so i, I don't know and you really have to work for it too like to get all that money just to do it you gotta work your butt off almost back to the uh the bunker already i'm like literally already here this is nuts that mission only took me seven minutes oh overshooting it oh boy come on back up back up come on yeah so i thought the operation center would be kind of pointless to buy but once i realized that the operation center actually has like missions with it that makes it well worth it because now it's new missions that i get to play and show you guys what the missions are and this way i get to test out the new vehicles so if i know i don't like one i don't have to buy it and if i really like it like that bike that has the jet on the back of it or in the middle of it kind of i want to buy that but i don't know if i'm gonna like it so we'll see good work that's what these labs run on Sweet. Supplies have gone up. I'm currently about a little less than halfway with the supplies. My value is going up 78,000, which is nice as well. And uh, next, I want to buy supplies and see what happens. So, it was $60,000 for supplies. Let's see how much it is now. It should be less, like maybe 40,000, maybe 50. I'm not too sure, though. Let's see. Let's resupply? Yeah, 45,000. Let's buy it. I want to see what happens. It just gives you more supplies, is that it? Supplies are in or en route to the bunker and will arrive shortly. Oh, they arrive, so I don't have them yet. That's interesting, okay. Uh, I can also buy upgrades, which I think in another video I might buy the equipment upgrade because it helps with the, uh, it pretty much, uh, the manufacturing increases and let's see if I can just read it. The, uh, purchase the upgrade to install higher quality equipment. So I'll have better like equipment and stuff. And what you see on there, the orange, I believe is ventilation. So it gives us better like breathing and stuff. I think that's what it is. I don't know, but this will speed up your manufacturing and research time. So I'll get even more money, even faster. And what the research supplies do, or the, the research progress, which is halfway, almost halfway. That is awesome. The, uh, what the research does is it will assign research will uh will use supplies to research weapons blah 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 adds additional wait, additional funds can also be used to complete active uh i don't want to buy it but uh, projects early oh okay this is what it does it says to be used to complete active research projects early by selecting the f oh wait no what i thought i told you what it does Oh, here we go. Assign staff and pro... Okay, current... Blah, blah, blah. Select... No, what the hell? I really thought I told you what it did. View unlocks, maybe? Oh, okay, this is what it does. Yeah, it lets you unlock special things on, uh, like, vehicles and stuff and new camos. I actually went through this the first episode, I believe, and I totally forgot about it. Yeah, and you get to have different kinds of uh, add-ons to your guns as well, which is so sick. 
it, it like puts you out from different people in GTA. Like you have like the regular players in GTA who just play it and stuff. But if you see somebody with like a cool new addition to their gun, you're like, I want that. It, it just makes you like the cooler person in a way, I guess. I, I don't know. I just find it really neat and uh, pretty interesting. But when will these supplies get here? I wonder. Have they got? No, I still have the same amount of supplies. So let's see <clears throat> what will happen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I thought that was part of the drill press for a second, but it's just like cable management. It's like the the wires that are all around. Got this guy. This looks like the inside of the uh, the operation center. That's cool. So let's see. I want to go back into the operation center. I actually want to drive it around a little bit, maybe for the next research mission. I don't know. Oh, look at that thing. It's so freaking big. It's massive. It seriously is nuts. I don't want to go inside of it. I want to take it out and see what happens. Hey, What's up, boss? Hey, boss. I'm a boss. I ain't no boss. I'm a boss. Oh, even the lights on the top. Oh, they light up, too. That's so cool. Oh. Okay, I currently just got shot by I don't know who. Getting shot by somebody. Hello. <laughs> I definitely was getting shot by somebody. And, uh, yeah. Don't know where the hell they are. This thing is a beast. It's so freaking massive. Oh my god. It takes up, literally, it takes up like two lanes. Well, this is one lane, but it will take up two lanes. It's huge. <clears throat> Woohoo! Look at the bird's eye view. I think it's massive. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to take it out just to drive it. But, uh, ooh, that was a nice car. That blue car? That was kind of cool. Is that a player in the game? No. Hold on. I want to see that car really fast. No, come on, I don't want to lose it. Oh, no, there's the... Yeah, no, it's, it's a player in the game, for sure. Yeah, it's the red guy. What are these guys doing? Yeah, there's a guy right there. I wonder if I go off-roading if this guy's going to follow me. Oh, this thing's so hard to turn. Or is he going to try to blow me up? What is he trying to do? Now, if this gets blown up, what the hell happens? Like, I don't... Do I have insurance on it when I bought it? I don't even know. Oh, I want to take this back. I don't even know if I bought that. Hold on. I got to check this out. Because if it explodes, I mean, am I guaranteed to get it back? Is that like a thing? I'm still so new to this. So if you guys have any tips or if you guys know more than I do, please let me know in the comment section because that would really help me out. And these drivers are nuts today. Holy crap. This guy's trying to shoot me. I really have no clue why he's trying to shoot me. You're not going to blow me up, dude. I think it's massive. Does it even fit? Like, that is crazy. It, like, just fits. <clears throat> that is nuts. Oh, it's like a little cutscene and everything. That's pretty cool. <laughs> He's like, come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it moving. The guy said, all right. Sweet. So, I don't think the supplies have been delivered yet. Unless I have to help the supplies get delivered? I don't think so. I don't know. I have no clue. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But uh, either way, let's see. Uh, these supplies have been delivered, it looks like. But how come on the bottom right hand of the screen, it looks like I have no supplies? Like, do I really have to get more supplies? I want to see how much it is now. Let's see if it's cheaper. It was 45000 to buy supplies. Let's see if it's cheaper now. I know I'm kind of like, not, I'm not really doing anything in this video, but I'm kind of trying to learn and see what it actually does. Let's see, resupply? It's 60000 again. What the hell? Oh, I'm so confused. That's so weird. Maybe because the progress has gone up the research. No, it's still about the same. It's a little less than half. Huh. I'm not sure at all. Buy upgrades, we still have that to buy. The security upgrade, I really don't want to buy yet. I will eventually. 
Let's steal. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait. No, yeah. It says uh, it's already on their way. That is so weird. How long do I have to wait? I definitely want to steal, but no, they're on their way. Huh. So, why, when I buy them, I can't actually steal any while I'm buying them. Oh, that's so weird. So, I have to wait until they're on their way. They're coming here currently. Don't know how long it's going to take. Let's go around the shop a little bit. See what's going on. Nobody working there. We have a couple of lovely scientist guys. What are they doing? Assault rifle, MK2. He's just looking at the schematics of it. The blueprints. We got this guy. That's writing stuff on a clipboard. Just doing pretty much nothing. He's just, I don't know. He's just kind of doing nothing. Dun, 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 dun. That shadow is really creepy looking. Huh. I do want to show you guys... I didn't even notice that. The seats are camouflage on these. That's actually pretty neat. I didn't notice that. Wow. But uh, if you... Come on. I can do this. There we go. If you actually take the golf cart... This is a, like a like a neat little cool fact, I guess. Uh, it's not really a fact. It's just kind of cool. If you, you can actually drive into these guys. And it like glitches it out a little bit. Like it... Oh, there we go. It like pushes the whole cart. But you can literally like... Just look at their legs. Oh, what? No, did they patch it? No way. Oh, I think they patched it. Can you not? This guy, I knew you could. Oh, come on, really? Oh, they patched it? No, I don't believe it. Hold the phone. Give me one second. You were able to drive into these guys and have their legs, like, glitched. There we go. Look at it. Look how funny. It's like a ghost. I've got no legs. Like, oh, it's so funny looking. And this guy, you could literally just glitch into it if you go oh oh my god you can reverse into him oh it's so funny I want I wonder can you actually get this guy you might be able to fit in there let's see if we can do it oh I don't think I can make it in there the clipboard is like an invisible wall oh it sucks and the guy in the chair won't be able to get him there's other people standing though so let's see what we can do to them there's this guy but he's kind of surrounded by all the gun material nah he's too hard to get to not gonna try him there's the guy on the lathe. Let's get him. Oh, he's surrounded by materials, too. Oh, but I can... Oh, I can get him. Just a little bit. I can drive over the... the I can drive over the materials. What the hell? I can push them, too. Oh, that's weird. Can I actually push them? Like... Oh, I thought I could. Maybe not. Let's see how much stock we have. It's up to 78,000. That's a lot. Well, not a lot, actually, at all, but... Ooh, it's starting to fill up all the way over here. Nice. What did we got there? We got the, uh... Just got guns. I can't tell what guns they are, but either way. <laughs> we got the stock is growing slowly but surely. The research. Anything over here yet? No. The research is going up. It is a little less than halfway. I'm really excited to see what happens. Your purchase supplies have arrived. Oh! You know, paying for supplies means less profit. Yes, I do, but I wanted to see what happened. So, if you buy the supplies, this is a cool little fact now. If you buy supplies, which I didn't know this, it literally makes the supplies go all the way up. That's really interesting. So, it maxes out the supplies. Now, that it gives you, a, I thought it was going to be a little bit, like if I stole it. But if you steal supplies, it goes up little by little. So, like, say if I stole supplies, it would take, like, three or four supply stealing missions to actually put the supplies all the way up 100%. But if you buy it they will go up all the way 100% the first time you buy it. But if you buy it and you have, like, say you have zero, like, supplies, and then you go buy it, it's going to be a lot. Whoa. There's no supplies. What the hell happened? Are they in, like, there? Are they, like, working on them? I don't know. But, yeah, if you buy supplies when you have zero supplies, it's going to be a hell of a lot more money. You'll make less money, so it'll be less profitable. Can I bring this in there? Oh, I can't. I thought maybe I could. But uh, either way, yeah, so you make less. But it's really good if you want to do the research. So say you want to do all the research, because once the research is over, I believe I will get new upgraded, like... They're trying to research, like, new kind of, like, uh, weapon upgrades you can get, and new colors you can put on the guns. Really freaking awesome. And that's when you can upgrade it into your... I'm stuck. You can upgrade it in your uh, mobile operations center. That is so cool. Like, I'm slowly learning as I go, but it's so awesome. Oh, I love this DLC so far. dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. So I can currently I have my guys working on 
I believe... Let's go this way. Hold on. There's stairs on this side. Let's take this. I have my guys working on both being the researchers and the machinist. I can buy a soda for a dollar. But now, what if I put them all the research? Will that, like... It'll, like, dramatically... Like, it'll increase it a crap ton, probably. So, let's see. I want to see what it does. Let's see. Manage theft. We can make them... They're assigned to both. Let's do research. Let's see what happens. How much it'll go up. There'll be no machinists, but there will be a lot of research going on. Let's stand up. Let's see all the researchers. So they should all technically be in this area over here. They should all eight of them be over here. <clears throat> yep, they're all over here. We got one, two, three. Two on the computer, so that's five. We got six. We got seven. We got eight. We have so now when the research goes up, I'm not too sure if you make money. I don't think you do. It wouldn't make any sense if you made any money because they're just researching. They're not actually manufacturing or uh, just doing anything on the machine. So they're not doing any of that. So I'm going to assume I'm not going to make any more money, but the research level will increase a lot more than it is right now. Almost, it, well, it's going to increase double, well, it's going to increase twice as fast. None of this should upgrade. There shouldn't be any more or improve. There shouldn't be any more of this stuff being manufactured but I'm not too sure I don't think the value is gonna go up I don't think so but either way I kind of do like having it on half and half this way that my research goes up and my stock goes up as well but I think you can even see the research goes up a little bit like I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me but I think it's going up a little bit each time which is kind of cool I like that but uh, I am gonna change it back to half and half because I just wanted to see what it did like instantly uh, and it really didn't do anything too dramatic but uh yeah, so we can manage my staff. I'm going to do half and half because I think that's the best, like, thing. But, like, say I was just going for new upgrades or something. Then I would totally be for it uh, just having all research. But, I mean, manufacturing I like because I want to make a little bit of money off this. I mean, making that much, it really isn't that much money. But research projects completed. There are 45 research pro. Oh, my God. There's 45? That's going to take, like, years. <laughs> but, uh, sell successes. Obviously, I haven't sold anything yet. Uh, resupply success rate is 100%, which is nice. Uh, units manufactured, 13. That is cool. I'm going to assume the units manufactured probably means the actual... Uh, like the stock, right? I think. I don't know. Let me check this out. So it said 13. We have one pile, two pile, three pile, four, five, six. So I think that's six. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is actually 12, because this is its own separate one. That's 12. I don't know. Maybe that... Right? Uh, 12? I said 13. Because I haven't sold any yet. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what it means, though. I mean, I think that's what it is. The units, I'm going to assume, is a stock amount of units you have or whatever. It's the stock you have. But I'm not too sure. And I, well, Look at that random-ass bench. <laughs> I think I noticed that, like, last time when I said that. It's just so random. And there's more stock that appeared. Or uh, supplies, I should say. That's so random. I wonder, can you actually, like... This is a video that's pretty much just, like, all wonders. Like, I don't know what the hell to do, really. Like, I did a couple supplies. I didn't think I did one or two. Can I put this in here while it's in here? I can! I can store it! Oh, that is... That cutscene, though, that is cool. So now I should be inside of there, maybe? Yes, I am. Sweet. I want to see what else we have on the operation center. Let's see. We can browse the weapons. They only give you a select few weapons to customize. Not all of them. Oh, no, I didn't want to purchase it. Damn it. Whatever, it's all good. I want to check out this one and see what I can upgrade. I can buy the rounds, which is generic, uh, extended mag. Nothing, like, amazingly cool yet. But eventually I will get new gun upgrades, which will be awesome. And, uh, let's see, we have the TV, or the, yeah, the TV. Mobile operations TV thingy, login. We have all these missions to do that I will be doing on later videos, which will be awesome. Uh, I don't know if they'll be individual videos, or if I should do, like, maybe two a video, because I'm, I'm going to assume these are kind of long videos. Oh, I mean, not long videos, long missions. Total brain fart right there. But it's going to be longer missions than usual because they look like harder missions. Like, I got to do this one to do this one. Well, I don't have to do that, but I'm going to assume, yeah, this is level 8. So I probably have to do this one, this one, and this one. And then I'll be level 8 to unlock this. And then so on and so forth. 
but there's the mole hunt there's the cover blown offshore assets uh, sphere weather patterns half track bully and exit strategy i'm gonna say the coolest looking one to me has to be the offshore assets that just looks freaking badass i want to do this one oh let me do it i want to do it but uh, either way, I'm going to be ending the episode here. Sorry if it's a little bit of a shorter video than I usually do for these uh, GTA 5 $8 million spending spree. But I kind of just felt like playing and I didn't really want to buy too much and do too much. But I hope you guys really enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are really enjoying the $8 million spending spree. And thank you guys for all the support on the other videos. I highly, highly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys for more GTA 5 spending spree videos in the next one. Woohoo!